My pleasure now. My pleasure. It's my job. <laughs> to, to introduce a group that are really sensational. They've made a very big success here on CBC, and they are absolutely wonderful. I'll announce their names, and I want to hear a big hand for Radio Free. What's the Radio Free what? Radio Free what? Oh, God, vestibule. <laughs> I could have said toilet, it was the same thing. No, I want a warm hand for the radio free, best of you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Porpo Records is pleased to announce an all new TV offer album from world famous musician Casper Habu. It's called Chantant avec Casper. Yes, Casper Habu does some of your favorite songs in French. You get Prince's big hit, Kiss. Il n'y a pas une scène particulière que je suis plus compatible avec. Je juste veux ton temps excessif et ton bec. Yes, this is a wonderful collection of music, and it's all translated by Casper himself. You also get this great classic. Et elle achetait un escalier au paradis. You will cherish this album forever. And it's educational too. Just listen to this great rendition of the Who song, My Generation. Les gens essayent de mettre nos autres en bas. Juste parce qu'on fait beaucoup de voyages. Je sais pas de faire un grand brouhaha. Je juste parle de les gens qui sont dans mon groupe d'âge. Les gens qui sont dans mon groupe d'âge, baby. Yes, learn French. We'll dance into a rock and beat with Chantant avec Casper. Tu peux pas toucher ça. Tu peux pas toucher ça. Chantant avec Casper, available only from Porpo Records. Get yours today. Now, a message from Bell, long distance. My brother Bill, you know, we grew up together and we were really close as children. I haven't seen my brother in years now and he lives very far away. But I think I'll give him a call with Bell, long distance. Yeah? Hello, Bill. Who's this? Hi, it's your brother. Oh, yeah. So, um, how's it going? I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. What's the weather like there? It's, uh, hot. Yeah? Yeah. yeah it's hot here, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's, uh, sort of the way it is this time of year, huh? Well, you know, summer and everything. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll okay. be seeing you. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye-bye. So, uh, what's on the old tube? Tonight? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> the Beachcombers is on. Uh, oh, that's a lousy show, eh? It's the worst. Oh. It's been on forever. I don't think I've ever seen an episode. You've never seen one? Nope. I saw one once. Oh, yeah? Yeah, by mistake, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. It was pretty good, actually. It was the one where Nick falls in the water. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's yeah. Great, eh? yeah. That was terrific. That was good, yeah. I, I mean, it was good in a bad way. Yeah, that's right. For a bad show, it was good. Right, yeah. yeah. For a bad show. Actually, I think I seen part of an episode once. Oh, yeah, which one? Uh, where Nick gets married. Oh, yeah, but he doesn't? Yeah, he doesn't. He chickens out in the yeah, end. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, that was the best. Out, yeah. But still, it was bad. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it was good in a bad that's way. That's right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You ever see episode 242? When they go to Greece? Yeah! yeah. Oh, that yes. was great! That was the best! That was a two-hour special, was like amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But still. <laughs> oh, stinkaroni. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Because, uh, you know, I'm show. not into the show that much myself. No. You know, it's just like my little kids like it a lot. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like my little son Bruno. 
Yeah. He really likes it. Yeah. Hmm. What about your little daughter there? Uh... Jerusi? Yeah. Nah, she's kind of grown out of it now. Oh, you know? that's too bad. Oh, my God, look at the time. Oh, my God, we missed the first 30 seconds of the Beachcombers. Quick, turn on the TV. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry to announce that the Beachcombers has been canceled. Huh? In its place, we present Danger Bay. Yeah. Oh Strange names. <laughs> Ask me who's on first. Huh? Ask me who's on first. Who's on first? Exactly! <laughs> because that's his name. Who is... <laughs> yeah. Well, that's real cute, but I gotta go, okay? <laughs> who and what and... Ah, forget it. Radio Free Vestibule is proud to present Beethoven backing up his truck. Good evening and welcome to Looking for a Job in Quebec. We have here Mr. John O'Leary. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Mr. O'Leary here is a unilingual anglophone who is attempting to apply for a bilingual job. Now, he has an interesting approach to overcoming this obstacle. Oh, hi, Mr. O'Leary. Sit right down. Nice to meet you and all that. Okay, I want to point out one thing right now, okay? You have to be bilingual if you want this job. You understand? You've got to be bilingual. <coughs> Uh, I am bilingual, <laughs> but my English is a little rusty. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't mind, if we could do the interview in English so I could uh, practice. <laughs> sure, sure, that won't be a problem. That'll be fine, really. Bluffing is an acceptable part of any interview. However, once you begin, it can get quite sticky. It's occurring to me right now, O'Leary. That's a very, very Anglophone name, yet you seem very, very French. How come? Uh, it's pronounced uh, Thibodeau. <laughs> Thibodeau, really? Thibodeau, yeah. yeah. It's like you go, uh, Tim Badol. Right. Well, listen, you seem a little nervous. Why don't we do the rest of the interview in French? No, actually, I'd much prefer to no, practice. No, really, I want you to be as comfortable as possible. <laughs> That's really. nice of you, but I... I insist, I insist. Okay, why have you chosen to do an application in Copenhagen? What do you want to do with a special dinner? Well, listen, No, 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 you haven't understood the question. What do you want to bring to the dinner that is special in the company? Why do you choose you among all the other people who have made applications? Give me some reasons. There are birds. On my door. Eh 
avec de petits caoutchoucs. Euh... Oui, euh, mes cahiers des exercices, c'est pas dans la bibliothèque aujourd'hui. service à ce numéro. Pamplemousse? Pamplemousse, hein? Deux pamplemousse? Be sure to join us next week on Looking for a Job in Quebec when we look at tips on moving to Toronto. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Porpo Records is pleased to announce the most exciting combination of Canadian musicians ever assembled in one band. The trend-setting children's group of Sharon Lois and Bram team up with none other than rock legend Neil Young. Yes, it's Sharon Lois Bram and Young. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. Never before had four musicians of such magnitude appeared together on one unforgettable LP cassette or compact disc. Thank you.